Hello, this is Geometry Lesson 2.2. In this, I will discuss triangles basics plus some questions on the same. Let me discuss what is right angle triangle first. Uh, right angle triangle, we know that this is A B C triangle. This is a 90 degree angle. This length is A. This length is C. This length is B. Now we know that in a right angle triangle, B square is equal to A square plus C square. Pythagoras theorem. Now what if, what if I will keep this this length A as it is, but I will move C. Just I am moving shifting C. This C is as it is. This A is same. C is same. I am just making this length a bit more rather. Now then let's say this is A dash triangle, B dash and C dash. Now you can see that if the A and C are the same length, I have just tilted this side. Now this is an obtuse angle triangle. This was a right angle triangle. Now we, by common sense you can see that if A and C are the same, this length B length would be B dash. What about B dash and B? What is the relation between B dash and B? I can simply say that by observation that B dash is greater than B. Because if I will tilt this uh, side C, this length will become greater. Now we can see that by observation, B dash is greater than B. B dash square will also be greater than B square. As we know that if 3 is greater than 2, 3 square is always greater than 2 square. So B dash square is greater than B square. What it means that B dash square, B square is A square plus C square. Now I can simply say that the largest side in obtuse angle triangle, the square of the largest side is greater than the squares, sum of squares of other two sides. In this it is equal, in right angle triangle, the square of the largest side, this is the largest side, LS, larger or largest side square is greater than the equals to sum of squares of other two sides. Whereas in obtuse angle triangle, the larger side or largest side square is always greater than sum of squares of other two sides. Largest side in this case is B dash square. So very important concept, the square of larger side or largest side, whatever be the case in obtuse angle triangle is always greater than the square of other two side. What if I make a cute angle triangle, this is right angle triangle I am making. This is C, this is A, this is B. This triangle is A, B and C. Now just I am shifting this C a bit here and I am making this as this is B double dash, this is A dash, this is B dash, B double dash, this is C double dash. This is a new triangle, this length is C, length A and C are same. I have just rotated this side C towards the right. I have just rotated this side C towards the right. A is same as it is. Now B dash is still the largest side. B double dash, this is acute angle triangle. B double dash is still the largest side in the triangle. Largest side. Now we can see that by observation that B double dash would be less than B. Now B double dash square will also be less than B square. It means that B double dash square will be less than A square plus C square. Because we know that B square is equal to A square plus C square. This is right angle triangle. B square is equal to A square plus C square. So very important in acute angle triangle. In acute angle triangle the largest side square is always less than the sum of squares of other two sides. You only need to remember that in right angle triangle it is equal the largest side square is equal sum of squares of other two sides. By common sense as I have drawn the diagram in obtuse angle it is greater than. So by common sense in acute it will be less than the sum of squares of other two sides. Now let's discuss some questions on the base of concepts that we have discussed so far in this lesson as well as in the previous lessons. Question is, it is known that the measure of all the angles in a triangle are is integers. If one of the angles of triangle is 40 degree, how many combination of angles of a triangles are possible? 
first uh, let me write this x plus y plus z let's say three angles this sum is 180 degree one of the angle is 40 degree let's say x is 40 degree so can i say y plus z must be equals to 140 degree now how many combination of the triangle are possible i am giving the case first case i am giving if the triangle is acute angle triangle acute angle triangle is there then how many possible uh, combinations of angles will be there that is the question if the triangle is acute angle triangle now y plus z must be 140 in acute angle triangle all angles are we know that all angles are less than 90 degree so maximum value of y could be 89 or z whatever the same scenario no issue then it will be 51 it could be 88 it could be 50 and same way it could be 80 i'm just moving here 80 it could be 60 then it could be 75 then it could be 55 sorry 65 Here it could be 72, this is 68, 71, this is 69. Can we move it further? 70 and 70, yes. It will still be acute angle triangle because 70, 70, 40, all angles are like uh, What about can we move forward further? This is 70, 69, 70, and 71. This case will be repeated. This we won't count this 69, 71, 68, 72 because this case will be repeated because uh, 6971 we have already taken one angle is 69 one angle is 71 we have already taken one angle is 72 one angle is 68 because the triangle from here would be 40 degree 68 72 degree this triangle this triangle would be 40 degree because one of the angle is 40 degree 71 degree and 69 degree here we won't count this because again this will make the same triangle 40 degree 69 degree 71 degree we have taken this triangle already same with this triangle it also won't be valid 40 degree 68 degree 72 degree so how many triangles we are these are the possible combination of angles when the triangle is a acute angle triangle now how many numbers we have from 70 I need to count from 70 to 89 from 70 to 89 how many numbers how many numbers are there so this will be 89 minus 70 plus 1 this is 19 plus 1 20 numbers are there or 20 possible triangles are there acute angle triangles such that one of the angle is 40 degree how to count 70 to 89 the basic formula is from a to B whenever you need to count from A to B whenever you need to count from A to B from this is B minus A plus 1 this many numbers will be there for example if you need to count from 20 to 57 how many numbers are there from 20 to 57 numbers would be 57 minus 20 plus 1 40 38 numbers would be there from 20 to 57 so that's how we can count so 20 possible triangles are there when one of the angle is 40 degree and all the angles are integers and triangle is a acute angle triangle again how many possible combination of triangles angles of triangle are possible now i'm giving the triangle is isosceles if isosceles triangle is there then how many possible combinations of angle are there one of the angle is 40 degree please pause this video try to solve yourself how many combination of angles of the triangles are possible now here again x plus y plus z is 180 degree x is 40 degree so we know that y plus z would be 140 degree now the triangle is isosceles triangle we know that in an isosceles triangle this is a b c in isosceles triangle these two sides are equal these two angles are also equal one of the angle is 40 degree so this these two angles are equal these two we know that this sum is 140 y plus z this is angle let's say y this is z 
y plus z we know that it's equals to 140 degree and both are equal so this only possibility is for 70 70 degree is it the only one triangle is possible or can we make other triangle we can make because it could be 40 degree 40 degree and 100 degree because this this can be iso also be isosceles triangle so one triangle is this can we make more triangles if one of the angle is 40 degree no that's the only possibility if one of the angle is 40 degree other could be also 40 degree and third could be 100 degree if one of the angle is 40 degree other could be 70 70 so two triangles are possible when the triangle is an isosceles triangle question 3 is a similar to one now i'm giving the triangle is obtuse angle triangle how many possible combinations are there i'm giving the triangle is obtuse angle triangle try to pause the video try to solve yourself obtuse angle triangle we know that exactly one angle exactly one angle is more than 90 degree so x plus y plus z is equal to 180 degree x is given to you as 40 degrees so can i say y plus z is equal to 140 degree now triangle is obtuse angle triangle exactly one angle is more than 90 degrees so it could be 91 degree this will become 49 because some should be 140 it could be 92 this is 48 it could be 100 this could be 40 this 100 and so on this 110 this is 30 this 120 this is 20 this 110 this is sorry 130 this is 10 until last 139 it could be 1 degree these are all degrees so these po these many possible triangles are there when the triangle is obtuse exactly one angle is more than 90 degree so how many triangles are there from 1 to 49 49 triangles are possible when one of the angle is 40 degree and triangle is obtuse angle triangle the simple concept is that one of the angle is more than nine should be more than 90 degree exactly one angle so more than 90 degree we can start from 91 till 139 because uh, angle can't be zero degree so maximum we can go 139 degree if this triangle would be 139 degree 1 degree and one of the angle we know that is 40 degree this triangle would be 120 degree 20 degree and 40 degree so there will be 49 triangles will be there so that was all about the triangle basic plus some question i have discussed uh, in the next lesson i will continue with more questions on triangle basics thank you